Okay, that's that's good. So we're doing this. Enough. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. If you are schizophrenic, no, that won't. I, it's very depressing. This is the we're working to tell people about their first furry convention, and then when there's only two people, when it's their first furry convention, it's like. Okay, now. I heard the word alcohol. No, no, you did. Okay. Well, I don't know. Alcohol is a very high energy product. You can do. <laughs> okay. Well, Dari was upset because he did not prepare any notes. I thought he was going to prepare the notes, so I didn't prepare any either. So we are going to wing it, as we say in my country. Never. You have no wings. <laughs> we will. Uh, We'll tail it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you have a tail. And a very nice when it is at that. So, I would challenge you to tail it. So, since it is your first furry convention, the reason we do this, and don't let me do all the talking, Dari, it's his con. I need to let him, him know some I'm things. Talking oh, the problem is, usually if Dari is talking to you, that's not a good thing. <laughs> I'm supporting your reputation. <laughs> well, you must go immediately to registration and get one. <laughs> because it's not everyone always supposed to wear this badge. <laughs> Why is this? Um, to recognize you as a member of the convention. Yeah. And? <coughs> so I don't throw you out. Yes. You must have the badge with you all the time, so we know that you belong here. There are maybe a few people that maybe we don't really want to really be happy to see. Please ask us. <laughs>
destination. But look at me, I know the answer. I don't want you to tell them the answer. Should we know? That's fine. You will buy it. Careful, that looks very suggestive. I'll make it. Okay, you see, your body is an engine, it is a machine. Whether you like to admit it or not, it is a machine. It requires fuel, which is food, good food. Sugar is not good food. <laughs> Caffeine is not good food. These are temporary fuels. This is like low-octane gasoline. You want to put the high-octane diesel into your body. Go to the restaurant, have good food. And sleep. Your body requires sleep. If you do not sleep, Oh, you think, yes, I will stay up until half five and then wake up at, at half six and that's fine. Your body will get run down. You're excited, you're, you're on adrenaline and you're very happy and everything, you don't feel it. But if your body gets worn down, you will experience something that a lot of convention goers experience and it's very unfortunate. What do we call that? Figure bear. Con crud. Yes, con crud. Con crud is an American expression that arose from the convention scene. Let's face it, there are people here from almost every European nation. There are people here from Australia, people here from the United States, people here from Canada, which is practically the United States. <laughs> there are people from Asia. We are all bringing our own unique germs and viruses with us. Germs, not germs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Germs are the germs. We should make a, a pun drive on that. Any germs are the germs. I well, also brought my personal germs. This biological <laughs> atmosphere is going to assail your body. Your body needs to be strong in order to combat these viruses and germs. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Twice is enough, okay? We're not going to do that. What trench does it read? They're still mad at that whole <laughs> house. Anyway, uh oh. We are all friends now. Look, you practically speak the same language. Well, it sounds the same to me. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I'm going to hide behind that. <laughs> okay. La Torre Eiffel. Was it Eiffel German? Yeah, look at the name, Eiffel. Eiffel, Eiffel, Eiffel. It was German, Eiffel. Okay, anyway. Yeah. Okay. You must take care of your body because you will get sick. And sometimes it can hit you very strongly. Sometimes it is gastronomical. Sometimes it is in the sinuses. But you're here to have fun. You don't want to spend two of the days of the convention sick in your bed, unable to move. It will happen. I have been in this business for a long time, since before some of you were born. It does happen, and sometimes the concrud can be severe enough that you won't even be able to travel home. You don't want that to happen. Because again, the whole purpose here is to have fun. So, feed your body. <laughs> Speaking of the Frenchman, <laughs> you are going to perhaps meet someone here, and you may perhaps form a beautiful relationship. <laughs> as beautiful as that relationship may be, I am simply going to say this, you are all intelligent adults, so you will understand. <laughs> We want you to be careful because we want to see you in future years. <laughs> now, it's a giggle and everything, but this is quite serious. People die from having a beautiful relationship that perhaps is not handled properly. So, let us be careful. Especially if you're a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they always get the virgins. That they on that. <laughs> Except the problem is he's from France. Where's he going to find a girl? Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. 
<laughs> okay, if you can't get a virgin, how about a guy who hasn't had any in 25 years? <laughs> <laughs> the French call me vieux de bouton, which I am told means, uh, you know, honorable and revered old man. <laughs> That's at least what he told me. Okay, so we've covered the 621 rule. That is the primary rule. You are here to have fun. To elaborate a little bit on the one? Okay, one shower, and, and again, sometimes you, you run across cultural differences, but here's something I need to explain. The human nose is the worst nose in the animal kingdom. Because if there is an aroma, even a beautiful aroma, mine, mine. Even a beautiful aroma, your nose will quickly become desensitized. You will no longer be able to smell that aroma. And this happens within between 10 and 20 minutes. That's why somebody who works at, say, a garbage plant doesn't have a problem after 10 or 20 minutes. Now the problem comes when he goes home and tries to kiss his wife. <laughs> and she says, six to one, one shower, go. <laughs> you may think that everything is fine. You do not smell anything bad. We do. <laughs> Especially in the lips. Probably you might have experienced that. You step into the lift and you say, this was a mistake. <laughs> and you look around at the other people. What you need to do is you need to look for the other people, if the other people are doing this. Then look at the guy like this. <laughs> because he doesn't know. Take a shower. Put on a different set of clothing. A different set of clothing. Um, he will thank you for it. Unless you don't wear clothes. <coughs> Which is what I find so attractive. <laughs> okay, you can hide behind me. Like I said. <laughs> okay, you're having fun. And you're having fun. And you go to the bar and you're having a lot of fun. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to turn it over to Dari to explain why one has to. Be very careful about the type of fun one is having.